You want to know what I see when I look at the people walking ten stories below? Hypocrites. Bonies. Ignorant victims. You want to know what I see when I look at you, Karen? Same fucking thing. It started out as nothing. It was supposed to be. It was just supposed to be a distraction. Or a... An answer to a question. That's all. See, um, I'd spent so many lonely nights wide awake since, uh, you left. My mind unable to crack the question you left me with. It rolling around in my head like a tire on wet gravel. I just couldn't fucking sleep, you know? Like your face was stained on the back of my eyelids. Finally enough was enough was enough. I needed to find the answer to the question you didn't ask. Why haven't you come back? Perseverance. To perseverate. You taught me that word, Karen. When something digs so deep into your skin that you can't let it go, even though you know you should. Victims. That's what I call them, and you. How could I live with a blind victim? How could I show you I was right? Maybe if I could show you, you'd understand. I had to dig that splinter out. It wasn't my fault what happened. I would have quit. But after the six week of not hearing from you, I knew you weren't coming back. So there's no point to quitting. All I really had to do was pull back the skin and take a look underneath. One answers, you go to the top. So I got you answers. Lots of them. trick the devil ever pulled was convincing the world he didn't exist. You ever hear that one, Karen? Well, I disagree. I think his greatest trick was showing his face and having no one give a shit. say. I mean, what's the point, Karen? We're an Ikea instruction manual they've written. How am I supposed to survive knowing every move I make is watched, surveyed, approved, and controlled? What does love matter? What does living matter? Christ, my head. Most importantly, why do these fucking sheep do it, Karen? Why do you do it? You loved me because I was the one worth leaving. 
I'm a virus in an otherwise healthy body. Maybe ignorance is a blessing, Karen. Well, I can't take from them or from you. This is the last time you'll be hearing from me. I want you to have him. I want you to have Ben. I think you're right. Ben's a good name. You have to have him and you have to tell him a lie that needs toll. Lie to him. Tell him we live in a safe place, a safe, loving place where if he works hard enough and he perseveres, he can do whatever he wants when he grows up. Not like is. But I can't tell these lies. I understand that now. But I know what I can do for you and him. Because I can't tell these lies. I, I can't. But you can. But you have to promise me one thing, Karen. When he asks what happened to me, if he asks, tell him the truth. <laughs>